All right, Bible readers, it is time for another quick Bible study, and today it's coming from two books, two minor prophets, Zephaniah and Haggai. And so this is a part two installment of who, two, and four. So if you didn't catch my previous videos on this subject of who, two, and four, go check that out. But either way, this one will stand alone uh, for sure and hopefully help you understand something about the Bible. And I believe this is going to be a short one. So in the spirit of who, two, and four, let's understand the book of Zephaniah. So who, the, the question of who is, this is the Lord speaking to Zephaniah, a prophet to the nation of Israel. And it's two, the, the book is two, well, it's Zephaniah, two Israel and the Jews. So God speaking to Zephaniah, Zephaniah speaking to the nation of Israel and the Jews. Now, Four. Well, it's for our learning today. Anybody alive today, it's not written to you, but it is written for your learning. And so I want you to think about the Bible in that way. Whenever, you, whenever you're reading any portion of the Bible, ask yourself, who was this written to? Who's writing it? Who's it written to? And if it's not written to you, then it's for your learning. And it's and it's kind of that easy. And, and here's the thing. Zephaniah 1 one, this is how easy it is to tell who's the book written to. It says the word of the Lord, which came unto Zephaniah, the son of Cushi, the son of Gedaliah, the son of Amariah, the son of Hezekiah, in the days of Josiah, the son of Ammon, the king of Judah. Zephaniah was a Jew. And he is speaking, you know, if you read the entire book, there's no question he is speaking to the Jews in the nation of Israel. So, but here's the question. Why should we even read Zephaniah today? Well, there's lots of good reasons. So here's, here's just one thing that we can learn. There's lots of things. But here's just one thing we can learn for us today from the book of Zephaniah. And it comes from chapter 2, verse 15. It says, so this is, again, Zephaniah speaking from what the Lord told him. And he says, this is the rejoicing city that I dwelt or that dwelt carelessly that said in her heart, I am and there is none beside me. Think about that. If you know anything about the Bible, you, you might be picking up on the arrogance of this. So it's speaking to a specific city. It's referred to in the feminine. You know, it says that said in her heart, I am and there is none beside me. How is she become a desolation, a place for beasts to lie down in? Everyone that passeth by her shall hiss and wag his hand. OK, so this shit, the city is going to be in some kind of a shame. But here's the thing. Here's where the arrogance comes from. I am is one of the names of God, as we see in Exodus 3.14. When, when Moses asked God, okay, so God was asking Moses to go and um, basically free the nation of Israel from Egypt. And Moses wanted to know what to say when, when the Jews asked him who God is. And so God's response, and God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, thou shalt, um, thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am hath sent me unto you. So I am is a name of God. And so when a city says in their heart, I am, and there is none beside me, well, that's the ultimate arrogance. That's, that's, a, that's a city, that's a, a, a perhaps a group of people putting themselves above God or giving themselves at least the equivalent of God by giving themselves the same name. All right, so let's do the same thing for the book of Haggai. This this idea of who, two, and four. So who, you know, it's it's pretty elementary. And I, I'm not trying to bore you with redundancy, but I am trying to make an impression upon your mind that when you read this book, you got to ask yourself, was it written to me or was it written for my learning? If you don't figure this out, you'll be confused. And you'll be trying to apply things that weren't for you or that weren't written to you, and it will, it, it will um, damage your, your walk in this Christian life. It'll cause confusion, not only for you, but people around you. So you got to get this clear. So the book of Haggai is, again, it's the Lord to Haggai. Haggai was a prophet. He was a Jewish prophet. And so the two is, it's to the nation of Israel and the Jews. But again, it's for our learning for everyone alive today. Let's look at it. Haggai 1, 1. And, I'm, and I condensed it a little bit for our purposes here. Came the word of the Lord by Haggai. 
So pretty clear. The prophet unto Zerubbabel, the son of Shil uh, Shiltiel, governor of Judah, and to Joshua, the son of Josedek, the high priest. So again, no question, this is a very Jewish book. Haggai 1.3 says, Then came the word of the Lord by Haggai the prophet, saying, okay? And so this is the context. This is the who, two, and four of the book of Haggai and the book of Zephaniah. Hey, I hope that helps your understanding. We didn't really get into anything deep or anything today, but if you don't, if you don't understand the book, if you're just splitting it open and saying, oh, I guess this is to me and trying to figure out how to apply it to your life, it's going to lead to confusion. It's going to lead to a lack of confidence in knowing how you should walk through this life. All right. That's all I got. Thanks for being here. Hit the subscribe button if you want more content like this. Hit the bell notification if you want to be alerted when I release a new video. Five long form videos a week, five short videos a week. Okay. Thank you.